Welcome. It is my pleasure to present to you a One City game, which we have developed as part of the CityCop project. My name is Mariusz. I'm one of the developers and researchers who are working on the game. Um, there were a number of master students and bachelor students who helped. Uh, there was a group in Spain with Pedro who helped with the assets, with the characters of the game. Uh, and they have also been a Lisbon police which was helping us um, with formulating some of the scenarios. The game currently is only demonstrating some of the uh, capabilities of the simulation environment that we have built. So let's have a look. The main screen of the game presents four levels which demonstrate different capabilities of the, of the underlying infrastructure. They are very simple to pass and they have been written for demonstration purposes mainly. So um, it's possible to start with level one. Uh, and then we are giving a task that uh, we have a small city and some citizens are afraid. How can you make them feel safer? Um, one action that you can take is you can send a police patrol car which will arrive at the pre-designed destination uh, and then the police officer will start walking around. Um, we have um, special indicators, uh, fear, zone and social economic, uh, which are used to showcase what social economic zones do we have. So some of the buildings are residential, some are commercial and some are tourist attractions or a workplaces. So those people who you see kind of walking around the city now, uh, they have their own life cycle and some of them visit tourist attractions, some of them go to do shopping or do work. Uh, as they walk, uh, in this city we only have a single social economical zone. Um, so I have to go back um, to finish the explanations. So that's why um, the whole area is tinted the same color. With different cities you can build areas which are poorer or more uh, more developed. The, the top is fear and as you see some of the tiles in the game, I will send the police patrol again, uh, are more bright than others. The fear can be spread by uh, citizens walking around. So as you as they walk around, they acquire a certain level of fear uh, from a, a particular tile and then they spread it. Here we have a police officer and the police officer interaction with the tiles is that it actually reduces the fear level of the tile. So as the police officer walks around and patrols the city, it or he or she uh, reduces the, the level of fear in the city. Uh, we failed to, uh, to pass this level because we were too slow in reducing, I will go again, in reducing the overall fear, fear level of the city. So as you see some of the um, areas of our city currently have a very high level of fear. So to reduce that you have to send a police patrol which will uh, reduce the, the level of fear. Uh, so this is a very simple uh, simple demonstration of some core elements of the, of the environment. So we have citizens which have particular life cycle. Uh, they wake up in the morning, they go to work or go shopping, they come back home. As they interact with the in environment, they um, acquire some fear level of that environment and they spread it. So if they are happy, they will kind of spread happiness. If they are afraid, they will spread the fear in, in the tiles of the, of the city. Uh, and then the police kind of equalizes the, the fear. So you can uh, turn those uh, indicators on and off to visualize what is currently happening within the scenario. Uh, normally for some of the tasks, those things are not visible, uh, but in this case, we can see the social economical zones, we can see the fear levels, and we can also see the interactions of the police 
uh, with the tiles. Um, if you manage to uh, reduce the overall fear level to an acceptable level, you, you pass this particular level. So let's see on the next aspect of the game. Uh, in this, in this uh, scenario, uh, we have uh, citizens reporting some unusual behavior or some unusual activities to the police. And your goal is to spot those reports and react to them. Um, you can move them up, so you can um, change the, um, the layout of the map. You can also zoom in and out. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate it on a PC because the game is used to be played on the tablets or mobile phones. And then we use touch controller to, to control the zooming and moving of the map. So currently, I, I can only wait and observe uh, the, the citizens in the city center with the main sort of a residential uh, area or commercial area in the city square. Um, the reports um, provided by the little icon which uh, is displayed on top of the citizens. So you can see here, uh, you probably will see in a moment, there is a citizen which has uh, an icon on top. You see here, there is a citizen with the icon on top. Uh, if I click on that, then I have a report. And the citizen is reporting that, um, that the wallet was stolen. Um, we use multi-language version for the game. So all those um, uh, messages are localized to a particular language. That's why you see them uh, as a keys on, on, on this version. Uh, if you attend the, the report, you will pass the level. If you ignore, uh, you will fail. This is a very trivial level. Uh, in more complex situations, you cannot attend to everything. So some situations will escalate if you don't attend them. Uh, some will not. And you also have to judge how much attendance you have to um, do to diffuse some of the situations. So this is, this is just a demonstration of how, um, how the system uh, interacts with the, with the user. In scenario three, it's very similar. Um, we have uh, another request from the citizen uh, and the fear and the social economical uh, indicators work exactly the same as with the other le levels. I will send to police patrols. Uh, and it's also important to, to understand that um, attending to a particular situation requires travel time. And then it's not the cars who interact with the people, it's the actual police officers. So if you have a police officer nearby, they can attend a certain situation faster. Um, so again, we I cannot uh, look around uh, in this uh, demonstration, but you can zoom out and uh, navigate through the city to see where are some reports or what is happening. At the moment, I, I just have to wait for some trouble to kind of come to the city center. Um, and the police officers will, uh, as demonstrated earlier, they will diffuse the fear, fear level and um, uh, interact with citizens if there are situations which need their attention. I failed to pass this level because I was not able to find um, the problematic situation before the timeout happened. The final scenario that we have is the most complex and it uh, demonstrates some of the interaction between the citizens. So in this scenario, we have um, a more complex city, larger city, and we have um, a riot forming. So I will send pre preliminarily some cars uh, for patrolling. And you will notice that um, the citizens start organizing in a riot in, the, in front of the city square, in front of the city buildings. Um, and as they do, they become more and more angry. Um, and at some point, um, the police will not be able to to help. Uh, but if you spot uh, early on um, 
the situation uh, and the police officer is nearby, you, can, you are given a chance to, to break up the, and defuse the situation. But that requires the contact between the police and some of the uh, people who are driving the, uh, the riots. So I, I will demonstrate it again. Uh, all the elements here work the same. Uh, so you do have the, the fear uh, level displayed. You have uh, different social economical zones um, implemented in the city. And you have also this different social uh, social economical uh, air assets and areas in the city. Uh, and the, uh, the situation starts escalating. And if you don't have uh, police, which is nearby, uh, to defuse this, you will not be able to solve this particular problem because you cannot do it um, directly. You have to have a police officer which is somewhere close to the crowd and close to the people who are responsible for initiating it. So at the moment, uh, I, I am not able to, to solve it because we don't have any police officers nearby. Um, so the, the problem will escalate and we will not be able to solve it. Uh, we also have some resource constraints. So you cannot attend to all the situations in the city. You have a particular number of police officers uh, that are currently available for, uh, that they, you can send somewhere. Uh, and then if you do send uh, a patrol, then the, the number of available police officers will decrease uh, the more police officers are already monitoring the, the streets. Uh, so sending the patrol uh, uses some of the resources uh, and you also have strategically manage what you will attend and what you will not attend. So currently we, uh, we will probably fail. Uh, we cannot interact with the citizens because we don't have any police nearby. Uh, we have a police coming now. So yes, luckily I was able to defuse the the escalating situation because I managed to have a police car uh, coming towards the city and the police will not drive through the crowd so they will park and stop before uh, some situation in the city um, to interact with the citizens. So this is uh, a very short demonstration of the some of the capabilities of the game. The game is released on Android and you can search for one city uh, in your country and um, install it and interact with some of the scenarios and some of the uh, situations. And we are building on building more complex um, interactions between the citizens and the police um, to use it as a training ground for some of the um, community policing tactics and strategies which are used for diffusing uh, more complex problems um, in the city. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much and thank you for watching this uh, demonstration.